Welcome back, people. I'm the Blind Beard, so let's get into it. Let's start talking about WWE and Mets baseball. So, the Mets have just completed a three game series with the Washington Nationals at uh, the park in DC, Nationals Park, which is seems like a nice park. I would actually love to go there one day. Hopefully this summer I'll be able to go there because one of my uh, college buddies is actually living down there now, working for uh, one of the airports down, I mean the airport down there, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome man too. Um, so yeah, the, the, uh, the Mets have won that series. They won the first game, lost the second, and bounced back in the rubber game for the third game. It was pretty good. Pretty damn good. That's all I have to say. I enjoyed that. Mo I enjoyed watching that series. The third game, I was basically I did not see most of it because I was listening to it while I was in class. <laughs> it's a little confession over the uh, over the um, internet for you guys right there. <laughs> Rubber kids out there, listen to your teachers that. You know, stay in school. Then you can listen to baseball games while you're in class in college, alright? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. So, it was just, uh, it was just a little, a uh, little bit. I really didn't listen to the game that much while I was in class. Just a little bit. Not much. <laughs> um, so, let's get, into, let's get into some WWE. Good show. We got to see some okay matchups. Eric Rowan versus Bray Wyatt. Pretty good matchup, actually. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, it was basically Bray Wyatt coming back to face someone and show his dominance again. Show him that he's like, show that he's still like a good fighter over a big guy like Eric Rowan. I really think they should form like another team like the Wyatt family again. Bring, um, Brian, uh, I mean, it should be Bray, you know, Rowan. Another beard guy, hopefully. Another guy to grow a beard. That would be cool if they brought some other NXT guys up who had beards too. I think that would be uh, kind of cool. Hopefully that's in the cards eventually. We also got to see um, a pretty uh, good matchup between Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan, um, Roman Reigns versus Big Show, who's got Seth Rollins and Sheamus. This was kind of a weird, kind of ragtag kind of uh, matchup. No reason why it doesn't seem like there's any reason why all three of these guys were facing each other. It was kind of strange to me as well. Hopefully, you know, they actually do something good with this, and you know. It's, you know, I think it was Roman Reigns that won the match, or Daniel Bryan. I'm pretty sure it was Roman. But it was kind of, it was kind of just weird to me because I really didn't watch that one that much. So, tonight's SmackDown was just not that great to me. I really didn't watch that much. I want to see something good. Come on, hopefully Monday night there's going to be a lot of great action. That's what I'm hoping for, Monday night. I can't, I'm just, I'm just hoping for Monday night. Hopefully the product gets a lot better Monday night. So let's 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 also look at the Neville character. Neville is going to be a great star. This high flying guy. Hopefully they can capitalize, put him in some great spots, do some great things with this kid Neville. He seems like a great um, up, up and coming star. It's all I can say. A great up and coming star. Don't you guys think so? I'm thinking so. Like you guys should be thinking so too, right? Well, I know you should be. Um, yeah, tell, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below, all right? Hopefully, uh, they do some more good with Neville. He's one of my new favorites right there. I'm really liking this guy. Let's go Neville. Woo! Yeah! See ya.